Every year on the Orthodox calendar, January 6th is the celebration called Epiphany. Here in Tarpon Springs, it's a big deal. The Epiphany is a big deal every single year. So let me show you what it's like. I'm Sam, and this is the Living in Tampa channel, and of course we typically make content about the real estate market here in the Tampa area. If you wanna watch some of that stuff, it's linked up above, but today we're talking about Epiphany. Epiphany in this context is a Greek Orthodox celebration. I'm not Greek Orthodox. It feels a little weird to, to talk so much about this, just to be honest. Um, I want to um, be very respectful of it, but it is like a big deal that kind of it loops in the whole town here. In between Christmas and January 6th, this 12 days, that's the 12 days of Christmas. And January 6th is the celebration of the baptism of Jesus and the revealing of the Holy Trinity. I've heard that this Epiphany celebration in Tarpon Springs is the second biggest in the world. Maybe somebody just put that on Wikipedia. And Greek Orthodox believers from all over the area come it's not just people from, people from Tarpon Springs, but there are a lot of big Greek families in Tampa and Clearwater and kind of all around this area. You have all these people like really here to celebrate, really joining in, really kind of a, um, like a worshipful environment. And then the rest of the town just kind of comes to watch. And there's like helicopters. There are two helicopters out. There's news vans and you know people kind of reporting about what's happening. And there's some dramatic parts. The most dramatic being that the Archbishop throws a cross into the water and these boys that are in boats, out boys, they're between 16 and 18, they dive into the water and dive for the cross. And people were even telling me some stories about crosses that have been lost over the years. One in the 1930s specifically that was made out of solid gold and it was thrown in and sunk a little too fast. No one was able to retrieve it and it went too deep. So the, the body of water where they do all this is a bayou, but it's a, a spring fed bayou. So it's brackish water coming from, you know, salt water coming from the Gulf, fresh water coming from the spring. Usually this time of year, there's like a lot of manatees up in there. They're kind of, um, they're there because that spring is a little warmer than the Gulf. But this spring connects all the way over to Lake Tarpon on the other side of town, this giant lake. So the cross in the 30s got, it just kind of went down there at a, in a weird way and people couldn't find it. And I've even heard that divers, professional divers that were going down to retrieve it, some of them even died. So. The cross doesn't sink so fast. It's not made of solid gold anymore. Um, it's a little bit different. So here's the timeline real quick. So right before Christmas, these boats are put out and these are just like rowboats. They're put out in a semicircle around this dock at Spring Bayou. And there's a couple other, there's this like, you know, lighting ceremony down there with, where they put out these like memorial bags, like um, tea candle kind of bags. And there's a lot of fun stuff that goes on at this park, kind of leading up to Christmas and then leading up to Epiphany. Early January 6th, people are there saving their spots because it's hard to get a view of actually what's going on. And this is a really big deal to a lot of people. It's a really important celebration to them. And as I mentioned, there's news stations kind of, they have their own area where they have cameras set up and they have their big satellites on their vans and stuff like that. There's helicopters up above. There's um, professional divers there to you know rescue anyone if anyone is injured in the water or if something else hap happens like that. Then there's also police from Tarpon Springs, from Clearwater, from St. Petersburg, and, and there's even just like county sheriffs. All of these people come in to help because someone told me during all of it that there were 20,000 people there. And this is a town of 25,000. So it's pretty. It's a pretty big crowd for a town this small. So the morning of January 6th, there's a liturgical service at the Greek Orthodox Church, right in the middle of downtown Tarpon Springs. So I was down there early getting some footage and during this service, a lot of people are there just in attendance. And then, and then out in the courtyard, just to the north side of the church, the boys that were gonna dive were out there calling roll. Well, this is kind of a unique experience to see this guy making sure everyone's there that you know applied to do this. And th there is like an application process. You have to be between the ages of 16 and 18. You have to be male. You have to be Greek Orthodox. Whenever I started dating my wife, um, my now wife, she she grew up Greek. She was part of the Greek Orthodox Church for a while as a child, and I 
heard about this epiphany thing and I thought, I wanna dive. Like, I wanna go down there and, and see if I can compete for the cross. And they're like, no, you can't do it. So after the service, there is like a procession and you see right here, the boys up ahead, the archbishop and some of the other clergy members walking this path and they kind of loop around and then come down to the bayou. Front of this procession is the divers and once they get down to the bayou, they jump in and swim to their boats, all kind of vying for the closest boats to kind of have the best chance to get the cross. You can see it took them a while to kind of disperse to the other boats, no one really wanting to go to the others. All, after they all get to their boats and are kind of settled in, the priest begins speaking and all of this was in Greek so I didn't understand any of it. You're just kind of reading the crowd to see what's going on and so a little bit of it was in English but not much. So there's a couple things that happen. There's a dove that's released because that was you know part of the story of Jesus's baptism. Then there is a, a blessing of the water so there's like um, the archbishop has holy water and I know I keep saying archbishop or priest I'm pretty sure it's the Archbishop of the Greek Orthodox Church of America. He was like the one from this big church in Atlanta that was here conducting the ceremony. So he pours some holy water into the spring bayou and blesses the water. Then the cross dive. So he throws this cross in and you can see everyone kind of getting like antsy, like about to like see what happens. And I'm hitting record on my drone at that time. And you can see the boys diving in going for the cross, one comes up with it, and they announce, George Stamas! Which is actually my father-in-law's name. There's probably like four or five George Stamases here in town. And this was like my wife's third cousin that got it. So everyone's super excited after this happens. It's a big deal, it's a big honor for George to you know, retrieve the cross. And he goes on the list of retrievers and it's kind of exciting for their family as well. Following all this is something called the Glindy, which is a, a, just a big celebration, kind of continuing the whole festivity in the like community center of the church. It used to be at the park where there's like Greek dancing. There's um, what I always heard about was Greek dancing and lukamades, which are pretty much donut holes, Greek donut holes that have this like honey and cinnamon. And I got a couple of them. I had to wait in line for over an hour to get them. And I, you can see how it's spelled here, Lucamades. My wife told me that if I make the D more of a TH, that's kind of how it's pronounced, Lucamades. That actually really helped me. Maybe that'll help you too. This has been going on in Tarpon Springs for nearly a century. This whole cross dive thing, it's really exciting. It's really fun. And, and as I said before, I don't want to, you know, make it a small thing or just make it like a spectator's thing because this is a very important celebration for these Greek Orthodox believers. And I'm excited that we get a chance to be part of it. And just a reminder, if you do wanna check out any real estate videos, those are linked up above, kind of our top videos right now. I think you'll really enjoy. We'd love to hear from you if you have any real estate needs here in the Tampa area. Thanks for coming by.